Yeah. Happy Resurrection Day. Ah, oh, Jesus. I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask the same question every day. Why is Easter bunnies on this day? Man made, man made. Well, see Mr. Long right there. Say hey, honey. Hey, honey. <laughs> you a smart ass. So, we ain't never make it to the grocery store to go get that roast. So, Cheesecake Factory feeding us today. And then we going to go see Batman and Superman. Uh -huh. I thought you had it in the car. Oh. Mine is in my purse. to go see Superman versus Batman. Who y'all for? I'm with Superman. Yes. Yes. What about what, Look. Jada? Look. What? What? Oh my God, y'all. Peter is not liking the way Peyton is looking today because my eyes are still little because I didn't get sleep. Like, he has to learn to accept me. <laughs> Flaws and all. She is fucking ugly. <laughs> oh my, why would he say <laughs> such a thing? He loves it. No. <laughs> he loves it. No. What's up? This is Peter. <laughs> Peter Piper Pick a Pepper. <laughs> Happy Easter. Jeez. <laughs> We are our favorite Next theater. Look, about to watch Superman versus Batman. Story. I'm team Superman. Who are you team? Watch the movie. He irks my last nerve, y'all. Y'all just don't understand. <laughs> Jada, who are you? Team Superman or Batman? Oh, y'all suck. All right, y'all. We are just getting out of watching. <coughs> what was he watching? Batman versus Superman. Y'all never told me who y'all going for. Orly. Alert. Millennium alert. Hello. Y'all see little Jada. Nibbling on her fingers. <laughs> I don't want to spoil it for anybody that ain't saw it, so I ain't gonna say nothing unless y'all want to know. Mm -hmm. Okay, y'all. First things first, I must apologize. I must. I am not gonna lie. I have been horrible at vlogging this entire weekend. Yesterday's vlog was only 10 minutes long. I don't know how long this vlog gonna be. And I'm gonna just tell y'all why. <sighs> y'all, when you just get caught up with your family and you're having a good time, sometimes you just forget to bring out the camera. And that's just being honest. You just, you just forget. And then especially when you don't have um, participants who's always like, you know, ready ready to be on camera y'all know side note james okay and side note his little his little twin jada too okay sometimes they be acting funny and i don't be wanting to deal with all the extraness but anywho y'all it's resurrection sunday and yes i'm gonna tell y'all we did not go to church today and it's simply because we have not found a church home now we are gonna take a gamble and go to this church that we heard of it's about maybe 40 minutes away and we're gonna try them out on sunday but y'all we ain't gonna be them people that you know that show up the people who only show up for church on christmas mother's day and easter yeah we ain't wanna be them people so we weren't we opted out and you know we know the meaning of easter and we know it's not about bunnies and easter baskets and y'all i really used to like go all out for my girls when it came to like easter but y'all know I got a story, so here you go. Let me just tell you this. Out of all the holidays throughout the entire year, growing up, we going backtrack, okay? From when Stephanie was a little shorty, okay? Easter was my 
unfavorite holiday. And I'm going to tell you why. Because I have a reason. It has nothing to do with Easter bunnies. It has nothing to do with egg hunts. Because my grandma always had a big Easter egg hunt at her house after church. After the 50 million pictures we take, okay? We always had that. But I'm going to tell y'all the number one reason why Easter was never my favorite growing up. It's vivid, y'all. I'm having flashbacks right now as I talk about it, okay? This is why. Y'all heard of a straightening comb? <laughs> a straightening comb. A straightening comb was the freaking devil to me growing up. And y'all, I, I ain't talking about like the new technology type straightening combs. I'm talking about that brown iron comb that have like you can smell the hair on the comb and all of that and it, it's black and it's brown and it's got all this grease and shit on it that comb that comb is the devil okay and for that reason that is why i used to hate easter time okay hate it i hated the preparation to go to church on easter okay <sighs> y'all my mama I ain't gonna lie, she is probably responsible for why I don't sweat in my face right now to this day. Because I think she burned all my sweat glands out my damn face, okay? Like right here around the edges and stuff, you know, when they get around there and they put that, um, that, that grease on it, that, that press and curl grease. Y'all, I used to be pouring down sweat, okay? Sweat around my face, sweat down the back, just pouring down sweat. Because I'm getting my hair straightened by a damn hot comb, okay? I hated Easter for that reason. I hated it because first, I would be the first one. Y'all, I was the oldest, so my mama would hot comb my hair first. Then, just the second reason. All the frilly dresses, all the ruffled socks, and all the Mary Jane white patent leather shoes. Y'all, y'all know your girl likes to get dressed. But that was one freaking holiday that I could have took a pass on, okay? Far as getting dressed, okay? Wash my hair tomorrow while you're at the gym. I don't feel like it. Okay, Jade. Bye, guys. <laughs> Jade is on her way to sleep. What? Jade is not feeling good. Oh. Any hoot. Y'all, I like to get dressed, but that right there, y'all, I swore, I swore on that day that you know what? I think the last time I got my hair like straightened and pressed out and stuff like that, I think I was probably like 13, 14 years old. I swore on that day, that day, that Easter Sunday, Stephanie would never, if I had girls, I would never, ever, 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 ever put them through that mess right there okay never thank god for the creamy crack okay because honey just oh my gosh i was traumatized by the straightening comb let's just go on and say that traumatized and sometimes i'm still traumatized that's why i don't that's why i personally don't apply like heat to my head because i'm traumatized so, I'm going to tell y'all, back in the day, it used to get, like, all the way live, y'all. My mama, I mean, all of us, we would be coordinated, decked out, okay? Then we had the, um, <laughs> this is another thing I hated about Easter. We always had a speech. I dreaded it every year. I dreaded getting that speech in February and having to practice and get up there and be like, Easter here, Easter there, Easter everywhere. Jesus came, Jesus gone, now Jesus is resurrected. Y'all, I hated that shit. I hated it! I hated it, hated it, hated it, okay? Because it just made the day that much more longer. Y'all, we would get up, we would go to church, we would go to my grandma's house, we would eat dinner at my grandma's house because she would prepare a huge meal. We would have the big Easter egg hunt, and y'all, my grandma used to give out money eggs, okay? $50, $25, and $5. And y'all, we used to be tearing her backyard up looking for them damn eggs, okay? Then we got to get dressed all over again and go back up to the church, the Easter speech ceremony. Yeah. As y'all can tell, Easter was not my favorite holiday. 
It wasn't. And it had nothing to do with Jesus being resurrected. It had all, all the things to do with how people just like go all out for dressing for Easter Sunday. Like, it, 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 is it that serious? You know, that's why we didn't want to go to church today. We're going to go to church next Sunday. We're going to check out this new church because we do need a church home. We need a place of worship where we can praise God and, you know, sing and be one with the Lord. We definitely need a place of worship. However, going on Sunday, Easter Sunday, just ain't going to get it. The one thing we used to like about in Atlanta, though, when we went to Bishop Bronner's church in Pow, I think it's Powders, Powders, Bishop Bronner, y'all can Google it, okay, if you live in Atlanta, uh, Word of Faith, and what I liked about his church on Sunday, on Easter Sunday, it was not about preaching, it was not about Easter speeches, it was about, like, reenacting the resurrection of Christ, I mean, it was like a big stage production okay well like you know you saw jesus on the cross and jesus carried his cross to the mountain and how they you know they they posted jesus up on the cross and all of that it was it was like that very theatrical but very entertaining and educational at the same time and so much theatrics going on you ain't got time to be looking at people and what they got on okay you just don't so today was a very non-traditional Easter Sunday for us. And we just think that the older our children get, you know, there are some of them things that we don't have to do anymore, such as buy Easter baskets. Now, I think the last time I bought Easter baskets, it probably was last year. However, it wasn't, it didn't, it wasn't filled with like a bunch of candy and all that stuff. You know, it's filled with like, you know, girl stuff, you know accessories lotions and all that stuff but since we're going shopping next weekend anyway we're going to new york for the weekend jada could do all of that there why spend money to give her more money to spend next week nah player we ain't gonna even do all that she got her easter basket money in her hand and trust me y'all she ready to spend it but it's all right giving it to her till we get there okay so on that note, I hope you guys enjoyed your Easter Sunday. I'm calling it Resurrection Sunday, okay? I hope y'all enjoyed it. The kid is going to go finish eating her little piece of cheesecake. I got Oreo. I'm going to finish it off. I'm going to have me a glass of sangria. And y'all, I think I'm going to keep my glasses of sangria restricted to only on the weekends. Because you know what? My ass need to get up in the morning when it's time for me to go work out so because tomorrow i got a date with the gym at eight o'clock 8 30 8 8 9 somewhere around that time frame i can't be i can't be doing too much so on that note like i said y'all today your girl didn't wear no traditional style um easter dress nope no peplum no suit your girl went straight vintage avant-garde steampunk style maxi dress and y'all let's see it at the end honey i was serving yes i was all up in cheesecake factory bathroom and yes the ladies was like gorgeous dress gorgeous thank you Thank you very much. Remember I told y'all it was a dress I thrifted the other day when I was at the red, white, and blue with Jada? This is it. Yes. 1995 and the best 1995 I've purchased. Yeah. I, I, it took a lot for me to spend $20 on a thrifted dress. And this one was worth it. Okay? So, on that note, y'all, let me go. Mr. Long might want to play with me for a little bit. Since I'm looking all gothic-ish. I'm looking like E. Clayton Easter gothic, okay? He might want to play with me for a little bit. So, I'm going to go play with him, too. Yeah, y'all saw we was Peyton and Peter earlier. Yeah, let me go holler at Peter, okay? And on that note, good night, and I'll talk to y'all tomorrow. Same time, same place.